<laughs> Lashes give me anxiety. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be filming a chatty get ready with me, playing with some makeup and kind of recreating um, makeup by Amory, Ashley Marie here on YouTube. Like she did like half of her face was the high end product and the other half was the drugstore or affordable dupe for that product. She did a really beautiful eyeshadow look on that video and I really want to try to recreate it so that's what I'm going to do here on this little chatty video. The look just instantly like drew me in. I'm like I need to do that like yesterday so <laughs> that's what I'm going to do today. So yeah this is obviously the finished look. I have a feeling this video is going to be crazy long so for that I apologize but let's go ahead and just get started. Okay so I did already prep my skin did my brows and prep my eyes for eyeshadows. So I'm just gonna let you know what I used. Um, Cause that stuff I know can get kind of boring and repetitive. So yeah. And I'm sorry if the lighting is kind of like eh. Like the sunlight right here is it's trying to kill my vibe. And I've waited long enough. I cannot wait any longer to film. So please just bear with me. And don't kill me for the lighting of this video. Okay, um, so for my face I used the Smashbox Photo Finish So Chill Coconut primer water. <laughs> the collab I did with Nicole Concilio it smells so good and I always just go in first with my primer water. So then I used the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer uh, for my brows. I'm super extra and used four products which is usually what I do. I used the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer Pencil in the shade Brunette which is my all-time favorite right now. Used the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel in the shade Brownie Brows. The Milani Stay Put Brow Color Pomade in the shade Brunette. And then the Ulta Brow Expert. Um, I used this um, just dark powder. I used um, just like the darker powder um, to kind of set everything. Then I did carve my brows out. And to carve them out, I always use the NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the shade White. To um, prep my eyes for eyeshadow, I used the Too Faced Born This Way Multi. Use sculpting concealer in this shade, vanilla. Then I set it with the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder, and this is the translucent one. And that's just seriously pretty much like my everyday prepping. So for eyes today, I um recently watched Ashley Marie or A Marie on YouTube. She did a video on um, it was like I think her dupes video. I got this inspiration like for the eye look from her. Um, she used the Urban Decay naked. naked. <laughs> she used the Urban Decay Born to Run palette, so that's what I'm gonna be using today. I'm gonna try to kind of replicate what she did, and maybe do a little bit different. Probably not. Um, I just really liked how her eye look turned out, so I wanted to give it that a shot. So, so what she did first, she went in with the shade Riff, which is like this kind of warm taupey shade. Kind of like a light brown, I guess you would say. Just on a Sigma E40 brush. Just gonna start just putting that all through the crease, kind of all over. So it's been a while since I filmed a makeup video, so I'm so sorry. I've been kind of absent for the past week off of YouTube. It just was okay. Ellie, Ellie, uh, -uh. please don't do that right now. She loves that dang pig. <laughs> I swear. And she always like wants to play with it either at night when we're trying to go to sleep or now. See, so yeah, we're just continuing to build that shade up. Um, but yeah, life has just been, it's just been kind of crazy. I know it's no excuse and I, I'm going to have to take it from her and I feel terrible. But yeah, life has just been, I mean, I, like I said, there's no excuse to not upload. I do need to focus more on filming kind of, I guess, pre-filming and editing just a lot at once because like I do work full time, you know, I have a full time like nine to five office job so but this is something that I just truly enjoy doing so that's what makes me you know that's why I am pursuing this and I love just sharing all kinds of fun makeup products and what's good what's not sharing just like a little like little bits and pieces of my life with you all and 
I don't know. I feel like it's just been, it's been a lot of fun so far. So, so I do also want to say thank every one of you for, if you're subscribed, like, thank you so much for all your support so far. It seriously means just the absolute world to me. So truly appreciate every one of you. I just love this palette so, so much. It's been feeling so fall-like here, you guys, and I am living for it. Um, I live in Tennessee, um, fairly close to Nashville. I have lived here basically my whole life, besides a six-month period, and I lived in Illinois with my husband. It has been just feeling just so great outside. I'm just, I'm here for it, so. So the weather here it just has me i mean i'm pretty much just living for it it's this is the season that i thrive um <laughs> just live my best life i'm going in now with the shade baja this um kind of a just a deep orange shade and i'm going to go in lightly with that just all in the crease Oh, by the way, this is my Luxie 249. It's a dual-ended brush. I think I got this in a boxy, no, in a, I think I got this in an Ipsy subscription bag like months and months ago. I love Luxie brushes too. They're amazing. I was talking with my friends the other day and I was like, yeah, I was like, I really need to start, you know, shopping like for Christmas and everything. She's like, oh, I'm almost done. I was like, Like every year, I do this every single year. It just, it doesn't fail. Um, constantly just waiting until the last minute is basically like, just who I am as a person in general. I've been a procrastinator my whole life. I think I get that from my dad. So shout out to you, dad. Appreciate you. No, I'm just kidding, but yeah, that's, I probably told myself, I'll, you know, yeah, I'll get better at it later. <laughs> Typical procrastinator thing to say, right? Okay, um, so now that I have that blended out, and I've been blending for about three hours, totally kidding, but don't really feel like it. <laughs> so I'm going with the shade Punk. Um, it's just a brown shade. It's just brown. I don't know. Same brush. Um, I have been like wiping off my brush between uses, just so you know. I'm gonna go in with that um, very slightly and build this up in the outer V of the eye. And the way that she described, like the best way to do this is to like blend it in like like go kind of in circles with it like to diffuse it out and I feel like that's like a really good technique you know I tried that technique out and I was like hmm it like actually really works and of course you know super light hand and just going in like circular motions with it um oh my gosh so who all has watched the um Haunting of Hill House on Netflix. Me. I've not finished it yet, but me and my husband are like legitimately hooked. Like we normally go to bed on weeknights between like, usually between eight and like at the latest, like 9.30. Like we are people who need our sleep. Um, or we do not function very well. Well, last night we decided it would be a great idea to stay up until like 11 watching this show, like binge watching. <laughs> I was like, I was like, we're really probably going to like, regret this in the morning. But it's just, it's seriously so good. If you have not seen it, I highly recommend it. If you like scary stuff, because it has honestly scared me so, so much. But I love it. I do. 
it right here in the very outer corner just because that's where I want it to be the darkest and the deepest and then I kind of want it to fade. Okay, so now um, I'm gonna actually go in with like a smaller blending brush. Um, it's just a more, just a smaller blending brush because I'm going to really focus that um, punk shade, that same brown shade. I'm gonna really just focus it on the outer V and really like pack this onto the outer corner, kind of like down on the lash line as well. I love this brush. It's from um, BH Cosmetics. It's the BH Studio Pro 17 brush. I think I got this in like a set. I'm not sure if you can get it um, separately or not. That's one thing I don't like about BH Cosmetics brushes is that you can't get all of them separately. Like a lot of them you have to get sets, but I will say like they're sets super affordable and that's where I've gotten a lot of my makeup brushes. Like when I say super affordable, when I say super affordable, I mean like you know, twenty dollars or less for like twelve brushes, which I feel like that's pretty fair. Um, and they are great quality too. Like I've had mine for over a year now, and I've had no issues. They do the trick, so. Also like this brush because it feels like you can kind of like make the shape that you want with it, you know what I mean? Like kind of like outline it a little bit with the brush. Make any sense? <laughs> so for me, the best way I've found to blend out a color like this on the very outer corner is to just take it in big circular motions like this. This is really just going to diffuse out all of the edges. And then when you get to the crease, you want to just lightly feather it up and over. So Ashley Marie, um, when I was watching her video, she also said like to kind of like flick the color in, like, you know, from the outer part, just kind of like flick it in with your brush. I would just never think of like ways to say stuff like that. You know what I mean? I don't know. Like she's just really great when it comes to like explaining different techniques um, when it comes to eyeshadow. Her looks are always amazing. You should definitely go check her out. I will link her channel below. Um, I'm sure you've heard of her. I mean, I think, I don't know. Maybe you haven't. So yeah, just go check her out. Like she's really good. Very, very talented. So next we're gonna cut the crease. And for that, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. And to do that, I'm using the Morphe M421 brush. Um, it's just like a very, very small brush. I don't know, I, just, I really like this one for cutting the crease, so. Um, so we're going to go ahead and cut the crease. I'm gonna start like packing right there. I'm going to look up. So then now that we have that, um, she said that she likes to go in with like a flat brush and pat out um, the edges like to kind of blend into the brown shade. So like just kind of like tapping those um, to where the concealer meets the darker shade, blend it in um, more to the brown rather than looking too harsh. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in with that um, brown shade um, punk, and I'm gonna go back in and dust that a little bit in, um, just like right here. Just it's like it got a little bit taken over by the concealer, which um, happens quite often, so. And if you do pack on the concealer quite thick, like whenever you are Cutting the crease, be careful of creasing because that can, you know, make your whatever shade that you put on also crease and it's just not a good look. I don't think it's what you want to go for, so. Okay, so I'm going to go in now with the shade Ignite and put that all over 
um, it's the shade right here, sorry, that bronze shade, and I'm gonna go all over the lid with that. Um, I'm going in with my Sigma E55 eye shading brush. Um, I'm gonna go in with that, and then I'm gonna actually spray my brush with my Smashbox primer water and pack that all on to that concealer. Mm, I don't think I like that brush for that. I'm actually going to go in with this Luxie Precision Shader Brush. It's the Luxie 239. Kind of the same thing. I kind of really like how that brush applied this shade. So, oh yeah, this is a lot better. We had a very eventful um, Monday this week. So we were leaving the gym and it was raining pretty bad. Um, it was Monday morning. It was around like, uh, what time did we leave the gym? We leave the gym like 5.15 um, that morning. And like it was raining pretty bad. And my husband hit this like curb. It's like seriously in the middle of it's like super weird so it's at a red light it's like after a red light okay like the red light you know the lane usually you go straight through a red light right like you don't have to like merge well for this one like he did not see it, it whenever you're at the red light you pretty much have to like go like you have to go sh like kind of like that because there's a big like median big huge like curve in the middle right there and he did not see it and we got two busted tires on my car it was <laughs> it was like raining so it was seriously the worst possible day that that could have happened you know i was not mad at him like he seriously you know he couldn't see it like it was the raining and and i was like oh you're about to and then it was like too late like it had already it had already happened the damage was done so then we call, you know, our roadside assistance through our insurance and they're like, oh yeah, it's, um, it shouldn't be, but like maybe an hour for the tow truck. So we're like, okay, whatever, we're waiting. And then it was like nearly an hour after we had, after it happened, after we had called, we got a confirmation text saying that it would be about three hours. It was like 6.30 whenever we got the confirmation text. So it said that they were likely to arrive around like 9.30. <laughs> we were like, this has got to be like a sick joke um so sitting there like brainstorming i'm like oh, what like what should we do um so then we decide i'm like i'll call you an uber he can go um go to the house then go get the tires with his vehicle and that'll be you know that's that's good that that'll work so we called and canceled that you know, rights had assistance, tow, whatever, because it's like, that is just ridiculous to have to wait that long. And I'm, and because apparently the place didn't open until like nine or like 8.30 or something. It's like, but there should be people on call for when things like that happen. Like that just didn't really make much sense to me um, or why they didn't try, you know, another company, but whatever, we got it taken care of. I felt so bad. My husband was out in the rain, like, excuse me, like taking the tires off. Like he was drenched i felt so bad but he's always just like ugh, so helpful and i just i love him like i love him so much but it was it was just a very it was a monday that's pretty much all there is to that it was a monday <laughs> okay so then i'm going to actually go in with the shade stranded right here it's like a light champagne gold color and I'm going to pick that up on my brush and spray it as well. Same thing that I did with the other one. This is like my favorite shade in this palette too. And then I'm gonna pack that kind of like in the center just to like add some, or kind of like in the inner part. Oh my. I'm gonna go in with my finger and kind of like tapping that out a little bit. Okay, so this is the point we're at now. I have the shimmers on, um, everything like that. So then I'm going to go back in with the shade Punk, again, which was that brown shade. And I'm going to work that kind of in right here to make it more of a fluid look and make it not look too harsh, you know what I mean? Because sometimes when you cut the crease and you have like those metallic shades, it can honestly... 
it can look a little harsh, so. Okay, so I did go ahead and just really deepen out that outer V. I really feel like it just makes the inner part like pop, like the metallic shades. I feel like it makes them just pop that much more. So yes, love, love, love this. So far, we are good. Um, so I feel like this look does need lashes. <laughs> lashes give me anxiety. I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and do lashes. I like to do my lashes first because I do feel like I touch my face and stuff whenever I'm applying lashes and eyeliner and everything. So I like to do all of my eyes first before I do my face because I feel like it will like mess up my face. So yeah. I'm going with the Makeup Revolution Renaissance Flick Liner and use that for just for lining my eyes. Okay, so I did go ahead and apply my lashes as well as liner on top of that. And um, for lashes, I use the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes. That's what is on my eyes right now. Um, I've not used these before. They weren't too difficult to apply. For eyeliner, I used the Makeup Revolution Renaissance Flick Liner. This is seriously the best eyeliner that I've ever tried from the drugstore and if you have not tried it yet, I highly recommend it. It's super black, super matte, and it seems to be fairly, fairly long wearing as far as I can tell. So highly recommend that. And then for mascara, to separate the lashes before I applied the falsies, I applied the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. Next is on to the foundation. So super exciting news. I actually got to partner with Collab, um, which is a beauty brand, brand that was created with um, influencers um, on YouTube and I think maybe other platforms as well but I know a Marie uh, Ashley Marie she is part of it I think what would Lizzie do um, Lizzie she was part of it I think X Sparkage was part of it too I know there's quite a few influencers that collabed to create this actual to actually create this brand and they're actually sold at Sally Beauty they recently expanded their shade range of their meet your matte velvet foundation and I was one of the shades, like I'm representing one of those certain shades. And for me, my shade is a Sun 3.5. I wanna say there's 22 shades now, which I'm not sure how many there were before, but um, so it's awesome that they're really expanding and trying to make it a more inclusive shade range so that anyone, you know, can find their shade. It just doesn't make any sense now, I feel like, for brands to come out with foundations that don't cater to every shade range, every undertone, every, everything you know what i mean like it's just at this point it, there's just no excuse for it so i love that they are expanding their shade range um it already is expanded i'm sorry and you are able to purchase those on you can purchase it on sally beauty's website or you can go into sally beauty and purchase it um but yeah so my shade is sun 3.5 it's a very i would say a medium buildable coverage but it's not heavy at all it looks very I feel like it gives your skin like a nice glow but you know it's called meet your matte foundation but i feel like it's not super matte like so don't let that scare you away if you have dry skin i feel like you could still wear this as well um so i really love i love the coverage of it i love the finish of it by the way this is not sponsored they're not paying me to say any of this it's just something that i quickly really fell in love with so if you're looking for a new foundation go check that out see if you can find your shade at sally's okay you guys i'm back i'm sorry i had to charge my camera battery it died on me so the collab Meet Your Matte Velvet Foundation. I was letting you guys know about that. And so that's what we're gonna be using today. Like I said, not sponsored. They're not paying me to say any of this. They don't even know I'm making this video right now. So yeah, just, um, just wanted to share uh, some awesome new products that I've been liking with you all. For the foundation, I'm going with this shade 3.5, which is Sun. Actually, first of all, before I put that on, I'm gonna go on with the foundation foundation wipe a uh, makeup remover wipe and this is how I like to clean up <laughs> if you notice how red my nose is I get high blood pressure <laughs> which is uh, crazy because I'm 20 uh, how old am I 20 26 yeah almost 27 <laughs> and I have high blood pressure at times so if you ever notice that like my nose is super red it's probably just because my blood pressure is up so 
Don't be alarmed. I'm just going in and cleaning it. I hate when there's like shimmer under my eyes and stuff. Ugh. And I'm just kind of like rounding out that little edge a little bit. But. Okay, and now we're gonna go with the foundation. I always like have one of these little plastic clear things from um, from like eyeshadow palettes. I will always um, just pump out the foundation on there. Um, it may look a little light right now. Um, that's probably because I am a little bit self-tanned. This is normally like my perfect shade match. So just keep that in mind. We're gonna bronze it up, of course. And it's a fairly like thick formula, I would say, but I really, really like it. I'm going with my Sonia Kashuk um, flat top foundation brush and start kind of like patting it out with that. I mean, already like, look immediately how quickly the redness, like, this is some pretty good coverage. I will say that sometimes with my oily skin, this foundation can break up and get a little bit oily kind of quickly. Like, I noticed it did around my T-zone and whatnot um, for the most part. But um, as long as you like, set it, um, you know, pretty well, then I don't think you have a problem. Just be careful. And then after... Going with a brush, I usually like to go in with a foundation sponge. So I'm going with my Sonia Kashuk um, foundation sponge and kind of tap that on the areas that I know need some more coverage because the girl does have some breakouts. In the lights right now, this may look kind of crazy. Like it may look kind of pale, but I promise you it does not look this white <laughs> in real life. I mean, I really, I just, I love the finish of this. Like, let me kind of, I mean, it kind of has like that your skin, like you can obviously, I feel like you can tell you're wearing makeup, like it's not that natural, but I feel like it honestly has a fairly natural finish to it. Like, I'm going a little bit more on my nose. Especially with how red my nose gets when my blood pressure's up. <laughs> so after the foundation, I feel like that's a good... Yeah, like it looks crazy. Kind of... I look kind of ghostly right now. Okay, so now I'm not looking as white as I was. My camera settings were making me look like very ghostly. And I promise I'm. this is a good shade match for me. I am self-tanned right now. So it's kind of a little bit lighter than... Like I do need to still go out and pick up my... Um, shade for when I am self-tanned but this will work just perfectly and like this bottle like look how like luxe and it's like frosted glass it's like heavy it is just beautiful packaging too like I love and like the name of it meet your matte velvet foundation like that just I'm just I love that um before I go in with any concealer I'm gonna go in with the um cushion contour and this is the uh, Wet n Wild Cushion Contour in the shade Cafe Osle. I think that's the only one they have. If you have not tried this, oh my gosh, I tried it and I was immediately like hooked. And I've been watching a lot of people, I think like Nicole Concilio and someone else said it. Like if you bring your contour like up more rather than like down, you know, it'll make, I don't know, it just does something and it makes you, you look a lot. Yeah, I'll go in with this stuff. And then, and that's why I haven't gone with my concealer yet because I like to go in first with this and then do my concealer, blend it all out, and then um, be able to set the concealer immediately after. I'm gonna go in with this Luxie Duo Fiber Brush. It's the Luxie 516 and just kind of like bring it up, blend it out. This really isn't much of like a tutorial either, by the way. Like I'm honestly just kind of chatting with you all and just kind of getting ready um like this stuff i mean it just blends out like a freaking dream oh i love it so much love it so much y'all watch rich lux I'm recently like obsessed with him so like look at that just like a chiseled mm. Mm. i usually like to go a little bit make my lip look a little all right, so now I'm actually going to go in with concealer. I'm using the Collab No Flaws Liquid Concealer in the shade Ivory Sand. 
I'm gonna go with my Real Technique sponge. It's super dirty. Please do not judge me. And I'm gonna blend that out. Alright, and then to go ahead and set the under eyes, going with my Hourglass setting powder. I'm gonna go with that. I'm just gonna go in with this flat side of the sponge and go in and. Okay, so once again, my camera died. So I went ahead and set my face with the um, Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder or Mineral Veil, whatever you wanna call it. And, and I also bronzed up my face a little bit. I went over, pretty much went over the cushion contour with a powder contour, which is, or with a powder bronzer, um, which is normally what I do. And I went in with this um, Tardis Pro Glow palette, this one. And I went in with the Sculpt shade. So I'm gonna go actually in really quickly um, with the uh, Collab Kill the Shine Pressed Powder. I'm gonna go in with kind of a big brush like this and tap in and kind of go in, just tap this all over the skin to really set everything down. I'm just going in with this. I really like this pressed powder. This is actually something else that they sent me. Um, but that does not mean that I'm going to tell you something's good. If it's not, I'm always going to be 100% honest with you. So yeah, that's kind of the look we have right now. So then we're going to go ahead and go in and finish the lower lash line. So for that, I'm going to go back into the Born to Run palette with a flat definer brush on the Morphe M432. I'm going to go in with uh, Baja and Punk, which is that orange and brown shade. I'm going to go in more with the brown, but I want a little bit of that orange too. We're going to press this along the lower lash. Oh, I was like all in the way. <laughs> We're going to press this all in the, like up against the lower lash line. Kind of acts as kind of a, kind of a liner. And I always aim to connect it like right there to the shadow like on the outer V. So like you see how much more dramatic that makes it and that looks a little crazy right now. We obviously still need to go in and blend this out. So I'm gonna go in with BH Cosmetics number seven brush and and it's kind of like a angled type like that and I just really kind of bring it like that and it kind of diffuses it without getting too crazy kind of like flick it up like that to where it connects with the shadows. Next I'm going with some blush. I'm going to go in with the, I've not tried this yet, it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio. This is in the shade Pool Party. It looks like this. I'm going to go in with a blush brush and I'm going to kind of like tap mostly into that peach and then that neutral kind of nude shade. Oh. She's pigmented. Well, like literally you need like the smallest. Be careful with this. <laughs> Ooh, diffuse this out a little bit. I do like a lot of blush though, so I can't really uh, be bothered. <laughs> I'd like to put a little bit on my nose as well. Like kind of on the tip. Don't like a lot of blush. Don't go with a lot of blush. I like a lot of blush, so really like that. Super pigmented, so just be careful. <laughs> the brow bone, I'm going with this, what is this? The Vintage Cosmetic Company brush. It's step three, go girl go. I don't know, it just looks like this. I'm going with the shade Breakaway from the palette. It's kind of just a, kind of just a white, off-white shade, and it looks like it does have some shimmer in it. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with that same shade, which is a, Kind of a pencil brush and go in to the inner corner. Yeah, that does look good. I like how that turns out. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm gonna go in and actually spray my face with the um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I do this usually after everything before I go in with my highlight. For highlight, I'm gonna go in with the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is in the shade 10, be my highlight. Tap that in, and this stuff is like kind of powdery, but I really just, it's just a very natural, I guess you could say, um, highlight. Okay, I am so sorry about that. Once again, my camera died. I need to get a backup battery for this because this drives me crazy. Wow, that's my hair. Uh, anyways, um, but yeah, I just 
finish everything because I had to do a like Instagram takeover video story for collab um, for their Instagram so I had to go ahead and film that so I can get that turned into them so I did go ahead and finish my makeup off camera um, I went ahead and pretty much all I had to do was my lips so yeah I did I used the NYX suede matte lip liner in the shade sandstorm but it's just a really pretty nude and then I actually went in with the Maybelline vivid matte liquid lipstick in the shade gray envy which is like kind of a grayish pink so then i also went on top of that with the ofra long lasting lipstick in the shade verona i love ofra's lipstick formula i want so many more of them i really just want so many more of these ofra lipsticks because their formula is amazing so i really wanted something like warmer on top of this cooler tone shade so that's how i did too um and then i went ahead and set my face with the morphe continuous setting spray that stuff is takes my breath away a little bit no I'm just kidding I'm just out of breath but yeah that stuff is amazing oh I also did go in with my um, L'Oreal Lash Paradise on my lower lash lower lashes and just kind of built those up a little bit so yeah this is the finished look I hope y'all enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you did not then let me know down in the comments below what you want to see next because like I always say this content is for you I don't do it for me to watch so <laughs> Yeah, let me know what you all want to see next. Let me know if there's like some specific makeup products that you want me to do tests and let you know how they are or possibly I may have already tried them. And um, yeah, I just, whatever you guys want to see, I am down to film. So that is it for today. I hope you all have a wonderful day and have a great weekend. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye. I'm like uh, too hungry. Angels. Hey! Hey, Julie. Oh, say hello. <laughs> what are you doing? So cute. You're my baby. What are you doing? Oh, you get him. <gasps> He's camera shy. Alright, this dog is obsessed with this bone. So, this is my small dog. Big old bone, okay? Like the other, the big dog hates this bone. And she tries to catch it. She will normally throw the bone at me. <laughs> like she has to throw it at me. Like she can't just give it to me. And she <laughs> That bone is bigger than you. For eyeliner, I use the Makeup Revolution Renaissance. <sighs> Super excited to be able to actually. So I actually got. Okay, for the highlight, I'm actually going to. That was really stupid. Yeah, I really hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, please don't forget to. Ugh. Hey you guys and welcome. Hmm. What? I see, I